On this week's stream tip, I go over how to set up Twitch streaming on Prism Live Studio app version 2.3.6. Before I go into this, I personally recommend using Prism for phone streaming over Stream Elements or Streamlabs because of stability is better on Prism as the primary reason. Especially with Streamlabs mobile app has major issues, which are different on different phones. Like so, I use a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, and other Galaxy phones for Streamlabs. And seen many streamers experience frame rate issues, and very consistent for about a year now. As well stream lab alerts simply stop working at completely random times. I don't know how Prism is like on iOS but Streamlabs mobile on iOS is completely unbearable most of the time. If you happen to have an iOS phone and tested IRL streaming on it, please let me know. I am unable to test this myself since I do not own an Apple phone. Step 1. Search Prism on your App Store and install. Then launch and select Twitch and allow all permissions the app needs. Camera, microphone, and media. Step 2. Part A. Tap on your profile picture on the top left of the screen. Step 2. Part B. Tap the gear icon and set up your live settings. Step 3. Here is how I set up and recommend setting up the live settings. Part 1. Tap on your profile pic will give you the option to delete account from Prism, like a Twitch account, and log out. Part 2. Stream Destinations. This is where the app has the ability to do multi-platform streaming. Connect to the respective platforms and it will stream there. I did not test this to see if it would affect performance. Part 3, Stream Download Quality, I have it set to save in fixed quality to keep it consistent. Part 4, Video Resolution, I have set to a higher resolution for my testing 1080p. Part 5, Conceal Watermark, turn this on to hide the Prism logo watermark. Part 6, Streaming with chat view, I have this turned off due to my own personal preference in streaming I would use IRL chat to show BTTV or FFZ emotes on a separate chat phone. But if you are on only one phone I would just use the Streamlabs chat web source as a widget instead. Step 4. Set up web sources, Streamlabs or Stream Elements. Part 1. First ensure you get your web source URLs. If you are unsure how to here is one example for the alerts web source for Streamlabs. Go to Streamlabs, then click alert box, then widget URL. Part 2. Then swipe left on the app to take you to the sources screen. Then paste the URL into URL field as seen below. Lock it only if you don't want to move it around. Then tap on the alerts box or whichever web source you just added to activate the source. Then you will be transported to the live screen. Do keep a very important note. Currently it is designed or is a bug that when you end the stream or relaunch the app, the source is deactivated. You will need to always reactivate the source before going live. Step 5, Camera Settings, tap on the three dots on the top left. Here is another area where you can toggle on or off the app to save your stream to your phone. I usually don't recommend this but if you are doing very edgy content where you may or may not be suspended, it can be very handy to have this evidence. Part 1. You can mute or unmute from here by tapping mic on slash off. Part 2. You can also turn on the flash, which is only the camera flash kept on during the live stream. Part 3. You can change the preview option from view screen to fit or full. Part 4. I recommend tapping on flip front facing. This only works for the selfie, front cam. This is what is also known as mirrored mode on some other apps. This can be very useful to intentionally make it harder for stream snipers or IRL stalkers when you mirror the words on the stream, but this can also take away the overall experience from some viewers too. Step 6. For phones with multiple cameras like the phone I tested this one on the Samsung Galaxy S20 which has multiple front cameras. 
On Prism it will let me select a standard lens and an ultra wide lens. I selected the ultra wide as my default. Step 7, setting up live in depth settings. Part 1, tap the live button on the right, if horizontal, also keep note, if you go live in portrait orientation it will stay that way throughout the entire stream. You must be in landscape orientation as you go live. When you tap on the live button you will be prompted for the more in-depth technical settings before going live. Part 2. When you're on this screen you have four options, excluding intro. Part 2.1. This is the title of the stream. Tap it to change it. Part 2.2. This is where you can swap live, Twitch accounts. Part 2.3. This is where you select a game slash category. Part 2.4, and this is where to toggle the more in-depth technical live options. In each area you can select adaptive bitrate, I have mine set to 6000 bitrate maximum. I have not experienced any issues yet on my testing. I would recommend trying the adaptive bitrate and it should adjust depending on what is the available signal. My resolution was set to max for stress testing as well, and since my phone is a Samsung Galaxy it is restricted to only 30fps live streaming. Keyframe interval I assume is the delay added. This is what I've found on my research on keyframe interval quote recommended 1 to 3. The higher the number, the better the stream quality, but the longer it takes your stream to load and recover from packet loss for your viewers. End quote. Part 3. You can set up an intro by tapping the intro with the YouTube icon. I personally don't have a use for this myself so I did not test this. That's it. If you want to stream on Facebook, YouTube, etc. I highly recommend checking out Prism official website they have some neat guides. If you want to read this guide to follow through yourself, go to bit.ly slash prism-236. If you're interested in looking to getting whitelisted, please look below in the video description for links. You can also contact me direct message on Discord, email outdoorirl at gmail.com, or DM me on Twitter at outdoorirl. Thanks for watching. Please, if you found any value in this video, hit the like and subscribe. If you love outdoor IRL content, hit the bell to get notified on other videos. See you next time guys!